Anyway, tonight is a very special milestone in the history of the Academy's Awards of Sport, as it was 30 years ago that the institution staged its first ever program in the Riverview, uh, what is now the uh, Renaissance Hotel in uh, downtown Mobile. This annual event, themed a tribute to the artist and the athlete, has over the years honored some of the most significant luminaries in the sport profession. Many of these people who have hailed from all corners of the planet include the artists and the athletes, coaches, media personalities, philanthropists, scientists, administrators, and just all around good people who have gathered here to share with us their contributions to society and to accept their well-deserved awards. Many of these celebrities have been captured for posterity and can be seen on the U.S. Sports Academy YouTube site uh, as tonight's program will similarly be posted. And I would invite you to go out and take a look at these uh, if you have the inclination to do so. I feel it is altogether fitting that just as the case, in the very first Academy's Awards of Sport program staged at the Riverview some 30 years ago, all of the athletes at that time were rendered in bronze sculptures uh, that you can see along the wall there at the back of the uh, lobby. And so too tonight, one of our artists also works in bronze. And as I have noted that our honorees have come from all corners of the planet, so too has one of our honorees come from literally the other side of the world, uh, that being Australia, to be precise. The initial program 30 years ago was the genesis to what became the American Sport Art Museum and Archives, which is often better known by its acronym, ASAMA. Over the years, the ASAMA collection has grown from that humble beginning to one that has over 1,700 pieces of art and an estimated value of more than $11.5 million. It is thought to be the largest collection in the genre all around the world, and this building that we are standing in this evening was dedicated by then Governor Bob James in 1988 as the American Sport Art Museum and Archive. We often get questions as to why the Academy as America's sports university has this fascination with art? The answer is very simple, and that is that sport and art are inextricably intertwined. A culture is known both by the games that its people play and the art that its people produce. From the ancient Olympics in Greece, where the athletes were celebrated both graphically and in sculpture, to the modern Olympics where there were medals given for the arts until the 1948 games in London, this connection between sport and art is well documented and recognized. Other forms of artistic expression are similarly integral to sport, such as music and dance in gymnastics and figure skating. So it should not be surprising that the award presented to the artist in the Academy's Awards of Sport program is the Zen Leon Pe Sport Artist of the Year Medallion Award. The award is named for the former head of the Chinese Olympic Committee and long-serving member of the International Olympic Committee, and through his long service as the head of the International Olympic Committee's Commission for Culture and Olympic Education, became known as Mr. Culture. The HET Award is presented to that individual who captures the spirit in the life of sport so that future generations can relive today's competition. Past recipients have used a wide variety of art media, including paint on canvas, sculpture, photography, film and video, or assemblages to depict the breadth and scope and both the agony and the ecstasy of sport. And this brings me to our honorees this evening. And the first of our awards goes to the artist who will receive the 2013 Zen Leon Award, and that is Miriam Cabello. Would you please step up here? Recognized by the National 
Museum of Sport Art in Indianapolis, Indiana. Her White Robe series featuring Aboriginal boxing legends was exhibited at the Dumbo, and that's actually a, an event, Arts Festival in Brooklyn, New York. In addition, Cabello was one of 25 international artists chosen to participate in the Run With Fire London 2012 Olympics Art Project in 2011. In 2012, she was appointed cultural curator and educator at the National Aborigines and Islanders Day Observance Committee Ceremony at Camden Council. Cabello's art nurtures a profound interest in social and political issues. Furthermore, Cabello has developed artist talks, surveys, and programs for tertiary students. She has also established an international students internship program as a part of a series of other long-ranging programs. Other career achievements include being the first Australian awarded for the International Religious Art and Architectural Design Award for the Pugilist and the Passion, Black Jesus. Cabello was also selected as the official Vatican solo exhibitor during the 2008 World Youth Day Festival. Cabello has also earned first place award in the 24th Manhattan Arts International in New York City and the fifth annual International Biennial of Contemporary Art in the Painting Division. Cabello was born in Santiago, Chile, and now resides in Sydney, Australia. She earned a Bachelor of Arts degree from the University of Sydney in 1988 and a Master's degree in Design at the University of Technology in New South Wales, Australia. In 1992, in addition, she studied the works of major museums and galleries in New York and in Florence, Italy. Prior to pursuing her art career full-time, Cabello opened a graphic design business with her brother, which earned them an unprecedented four awards in the Australian Micro Business Awards of 2002. And so at this time, I would like to call upon U.S. Sports Academy trustee, Dr. Nick Nikolai, to confer upon Ms. Cabello the Order of the Eagle Exemplar with Rosetta.
this time I would like to call upon uh, Trustee Jack Sharp and uh, Chair of our uh, Arts Committee, uh, Ms. Nancy Ray from the Eastern Shore Arts Center to unveil uh, the piece that she's donating to the institution.
thank you, and uh, it's a pleasure to be here. Again, I'd like to call upon uh, uh, Jack Shire and Nancy Graham to assist in the unveiling of uh, Boston Green.
um, as a female um, in sports. So I take that message, and once again, I thank you very much. All right. Well, that concludes our festivities for the evening. Uh, but before we go, uh, I would like to invite you all to uh, uh, enjoy the refreshments to take in the art. There's a lot of it around the building, although I would ask that the refreshments stay in uh, this uh, lobby area of the building. I would also like to remind you that tomorrow we will have another art event, which will be the unveiling of the latest addition uh, to the Academy's uh, Sculpture Park. Uh, we'll get underway at about 4 o'clock tomorrow afternoon uh, behind us here at uh, the back corner of the campus. And so once again, I would like to invite everyone here uh, for that special event as well. So thank you very much for coming, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the evening. Thank you.